Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this DIY slime kit. It's called Slime Unicorn Slime Goo. And it says create your own magical colors and make your own slime. It includes everything you need, so that's perfect. These are the instructions and what you get on the back. And um, the price for this, it doesn't have the price on it, but the price that I paid for this, oh yes it does, here at the bottom is £2.50, which I think is good. And it's made for Primark. Um, this is where I got this slime kit. So that's awesome. Again, it's made by HTI. A lot of these slimes I, I see around and I buy are all made by HTI and they're decent quality. So that's amazing. The other thing guys is, again, I do this in every video, but just be mindful that this is not for anybody three and under. And if you are going to let anybody three and under use this kit or play with this kit, please, please, please ensure that you supervise them because we don't want anything to happen to them. So now that that's all done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this pack and see what we get inside. I love the colors on this. It looks kind of sparkly here and it's got the tail of the unicorn. So I like what they've done with the packaging. Um, this is what actually made me walk over to see what this was. And when I saw it and saw the price, I thought, hey, that's fantastic. Let's buy that. So in the pack, I don't know why the spoon's outside the pack, but in the pack you get oh, your one plastic spoon. We'll set that to the side. We get our mixing stick which is awesome we get a measuring cup you can see the measurements on the side we'll set that right there we get a bag of unicorn stars and these are super cute and sparkly i like those so they're cute we get uh let's see what else we've got here we've got our I don't know how to say that. Disodium Terra Borit. I'm not sure how to say that. However, uh, this is um, our activator. And we'll set our activator right here. We'll get out what else we have. We have four more things. If I can get them out of the bag. We have a set. Is this our instructions? We have a set of instructions, which we will put the side because we're going to use those our instructions are right here just in case anybody has this kit and you've lost the instructions this is our instructions and um, we have our what looks like PVA glue and we have our two I've just thrown it away why have I done that I'm just going to widen out the camera and we have our two pots of paint we have purple and we have pink so we'll set those so the first thing it says is cover your works surface Contents may stay in certain surfaces. Well, this is not my actual table. This is just a cover, so I'm not worried about this. And it's easy clean, so that's fantastic. So it says, measure and pour 20 milliliters of the PVA glue into a disposable cup. Well, I don't have a disposable cup, but what I do have is a disposable plastic container. Um, these are food containers that we have got takeaways in, and we just keep them for things like this. So... I don't quite know, pop this, oh, I always find these very hard to get out, but let's see if this one will make it easy for me, so good, that's easy, and we'll just put our lid in there, so I'm assuming they want me to use the measuring cup, and we have 20 milliliters, so these are milliliters, and we want to go to here. So let's do that. I think it's probably going to be, well, this is 40 milliliters. So half of this, but I mean, I don't think so. I think it's probably going to be, oh, the container, the whole, oh, we're getting bubbles already. We'll set that in there. I mean, that's nearly the container empty. I don't know if we've hit 20 or not. I think I'm going to burst that little bubble. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to see now that the glue's in it. But we are, guys, I'm just going to go off camera for one little second so I can find, hmm. So this is just over 20 milliliters. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour that all into our 
and Tanner right here. And we will make sure it's completely empty. And put our lid back on our glue. We'll pop that right here. And that doesn't, to me, doesn't look like an awful lot of glue for slime, but maybe it's a small slime. Not really sure. Let's go ahead with the next one, the next step in this um, process. It says add one to two drops of your chosen color dye into the PVA glue and stir until evenly mixed. So pink or purple? Well, I like both colors, but I think in this instance, we're going to go pink because it's pink on the box. Let's see how we open this. Um, oh my gosh. They don't make things easy i mean I, I guess this is easy it's just maybe a bit more difficult for me um guys back in one sec i'm just going to get this open and then i'm going to come right back so here we are we've got our pink paint open it's a really nice vibrant pink paint i'm just going to take a scoop like this and we'll pop the lid on again, make sure that's insecure. And we'll just mix this into our PVA glue, like it says in the instructions. This is super sticky glue. I know glue is supposed to be sticky, but this just seems like it's super sticky. Um, so mix it until it's all in our, it's all one even color. Yep. spilling it out so I think that's pretty good and that's a nice pinky color and I'll just pop that right here again and the next step says mix in the glitter so let's find our glitter stars and I don't think we'll use all of these glitter star stars because I wonder if we should just go ahead and maybe add all the glue and just double up maybe what we'll do is we'll just leave this here and that doesn't work leave it i'll tilt it just off camera onto a container and maybe that will push all the glue down to the bottom and we'll maybe add a bit more that depends we'll see we're going to go ahead and open our stars and these are and they're super glitter super colorful we'll throw those in we'll not use them all throw those into our pva glue and our paint and we'll mix those in and just make sure that they're well mixed in. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And the next step is pour in, pour, slowly pour your activator mixture into your glue solution while stirring until the correct consistency is achieved. Then twist your colors together in the solution and make multicolored slime. So you're making two slimes out of this in the pack, but I don't think we're going to be doing that in this video. I think we're just gonna have one. I mean, I think that pink color is so cute. I think what I might actually do though is see if we can get any more of our glue out of this container and we'll make just one giant slime. And I don't even think this is going to be a giant slime, it's just going to be slime. We'll pop the rest of that in. I think that's, oh, maybe all we're going to get out of this container. Oh, we have a tiny bit more. Okay. We'll take all of that glue and put it in our con in our little disposable container and we'll just get rid of our rubbish and I think we'll add some more pink so I'm going to be right back. So I've taken all the pink paint because I think we'll make this a little darker and we'll save our purple paint for something different and we're now just going to mix all of this glue in. We'll get it a nice deeper pink. I think we'll add in all of our little stars. See, they're all here. And we'll just mix those in. 
We get all of our paint incorporated, which is super cute. You can see that the um, that the Let's stir it a bit more. You'll see that the colors deepen now than, than we had before. And now we're going to add in our activator. Just pop this little safety. I think that's probably good so that it doesn't all pour in at once. So we'll just, because I'm going to try to just raise you up a little bit and put my camera down so that you can actually see me stir here because it's just a little difficult um, to do it without. So I'm pour, pour in some drops of activator and we'll start mixing that together. You can already see that it started to make slime. I, don't, I think that's still super sticky, but you can see the slime has already started, which is awesome. But we're going to put in some more activator. Hopefully I don't over activate this slime. I know I was supposed to probably use this spoon for something, but this um, little um, mixing stick is working fine. I mean, this is all starting to come together. container is now done and we'll just take our stick out and we'll start okay so this is super sticky so that's fine we'll just add more activator and we'll just move that around until it becomes less sticky a little bit more activator oh look at that it's so stuck to my entire hands A little bit more activator, and I think both hands are probably necessary now. And this is what we have. I mean, it's super, super sticky, but we're getting there. I'm going to just keep, oh, I just spilled the activator. Not good. Because I know you see me um, like moving the slime around the table, but that's because that's where the activator is. So I think it takes a lot of activator to get this glue kind of to turn into slime because it is super sticky. On my, I mean, my fingers are super sticky and super covered in this glue. And there's so much activator still on my table, so. And this is a lot of work for a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of slime. And the one thing I guess I don't like about slime kits are that they don't give you a container. So if you are, you know, making your own slime, it's coming along now. Um, if you're making your own slime, you genuinely don't have anywhere to store the slime once it's done and I kind of guess I don't really like that I would prefer you know unless you have oh my gosh it's all over my rings that's fine um unless you have you know containers of your own and you make you know slime regularly which I guys I don't um I just thought these slime kits were cute that you don't have anywhere to put um you don't have anywhere to store your slime I mean, we're getting there with this slime. This slime is becoming pretty good. This is our stretch, but it just needs to be worked a little bit more, and that's okay. So we have been kneading this um, slime for a little bit. Oh, I wish I hadn't have done that. That was silly. Um... And I'm just trying to get it to pick up all the stars that have fallen out. And now I think this slime is ready. 
So this slime probably took from start to finish about maybe 15 minutes. That's really not that bad. You could probably do it slightly quicker because you're not recording, so it would be easier for you. Um, so this is what our end result looks like. So stretchy. There's not a huge amount of slime, but that's okay. I don't mind that because this is actually awesome slime. I think I don't like the fact that a lot of the stars are falling out, but we can mop those up. Um, and it's, it is gooey. It says on the box that it is unicorn gooey slime, and it is gooey. It's a tiny bit sticky, but as you can see, it comes away from your hands quite clean. It, this is the slime that you get for the £2.50. I think that's a reasonable amount of money. It's very pokeable. It's cute pink colored. It's got amazing cute stars. Oh, pick it up. This one doesn't want to go. <laughs> it really does not want to go. Um, it's, let's see if we can create a bubble. I'm so terrible at these. Oh, see, already bad. Tiny bubble, tiny, tiny bubble. But that is such cute slime. And you guys, if you wanted to make this darker, you could incorporate um, the purple. Um, it does say that you can make two, um, two bits of slime. So you would have maybe one half purple, one half pink. But just for the purpose of this video, I just made one. Um, I think this is pretty awesome, funky slime. I think this has been a pretty good experience. I would definitely recommend this. It's fantastic. Um, they did have another one, which I probably will go by and do another video. Awesome bubble pops. Loving it. Um, now I just have to go and find out where I'm going to store it. So guys, this has been fun for me. I hope it's been fun for you. If you are interested in these um, slime unicorn goose slimes, they're £2.50 in Primark. Um, I think they're pretty, pretty cool. I really like this super stretchy pink slime. Um, if you want to go buy it, that's where you go get it. Um, so guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you have any comments leave them in the comment section below I will get back to you and answer them as, as soon as I can if you have not yet subscribed and you'd like to please hit that little subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of any new videos I upload guys thanks so much for joining me I hope you've had as much fun as I've had um, if you're again interested in buying this go get it it is quite it is quite fun for £2.50 that's pretty awesome um, I'll catch you in the next video thanks for joining me Bye.